much better. Hey everybody, my name is Ang Zichi and you can call me Ben. And today, I believe you can hear that my voice probably sound a little different. That's because I just got a new mic. If you watched the review, I talked about the gorilla part I got. You probably think that I'll also do an unboxing with this mic as well. And let me tell you, if you thought of that, you are totally wrong. yesterday and I finally got my hands on it last night and hopefully this mic will stay until I have the money to upgrade to a road mic but as of now I'm gonna stick to this and hopefully it works I hope it doesn't create more problems for me because if it does if it sucks I am going to return it back to the seller but as of now after one day of usage I the only thing I can say right now is that I'm not quite satisfied with its performance. I mean, I'm not so sure how mics work because this is the first time I'm actually using a mic that is external, that is not built in with the device that I always use to record. And when I was listening to the playback of the video I recorded with this mic, the funny thing is it only recorded the audio in the left channel. I mean, it's a mono mic. I, it's, it should only record one track, but the thing is, it, it only plays the track in one channel. It doesn't play in both L and R channels, the left and right channels. Alright me from the past, let me explain. Was editing, went through the footage, and I realized that actually I do have sort of enough information to tell you guys about this mic, the Techstar SGC598. Yes, it did happen to me at first that the footage was only going in one channel, it was only playing back in one channel, but then I realized it's because I did not plug the mic in enough. I'm using the Canon ADD as my vlogging camera, and one downside of this camera is that the holes for its mic earphone holes, they are kind of tight. Anyways, Good thing is, it records a mono track and it plays back on both speakers. If in your case, that does not happen, try plugging your footage into your computer and play it back. If it only plays back in one channel, then probably you didn't plug your mic in deep enough. Well, that's what she said. So in your camera settings, change the sound recording option to manual. Then lower the recording level to probably around less than a quarter. Then on the mic, turn on the plus 10 dB option. This is because Canon preamps are kind of bad. The hissing noise are like crazy. And by doing this, it helps reduce the hissing noise a lot. And if in post, if it ever sounds kind of soft, don't worry, you can always up the gain. It's quite easy to do in Premiere Pro. You just have to right click your audio, click on audio gain, then type in the amount you want to put in. Oh my gosh, the camera is so heavy. My right hand is shaking already. The Techstar SGC598 does have a successor. It's way much smaller, but it has half the battery life of this one I have right here. This guy here has 100 hours of battery life with one AA battery. Well, the SGC698 only has 50 hours of battery life with only a watch battery. This one is a shotgun mic. Its successor is a shotgun stereo hybrid because it's it has the start of a shotgun, but it also records stereo sounds as well. And despite its small size, it's actually more expensive than this one I have right here. It also has a plus 20 dB setting, which is a bit too much compared to this one I have here. This one has a plus 10 dB setting, which is like the sweet spot for the recording. So if you're a vlogger looking for a mic to use, or someone who works in a studio and wants a cardioid budget shotgun mic, this is the mic for you. You can also find all sorts of audio tests with this mic on YouTube. I'll probably link one of my favorite ones from this YouTuber called Max, links in the description. He's probably the main reason why I picked this mic instead of any other mic. So do I recommend this mic? Definitely, I recommend this budget mic for beginners like me. I guess that's all I have to say. Even in the end, there's a problem with the recording. You can always fix it in post. It's okay to take that extra little bit time during editing because sometimes this little effort you put in to make things great does pay off. Hope the setup I have right now, this camera, this mic, 
this gorilla pod will stay and follow me through my future endeavors. Also, thank you for following me on this path, on this YouTube path. And let's walk through this journey together. So without further ado, I'll let the me from the past do the outro. The honor is yours. If you like this video, don't forget to slam that like button and remember to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the other videos as well and see you next time.